November 5th, 2024, the United States effectively voted to become a massive sundown town. That's the best way I can describe my feelings on election night after I saw the results coming in and after they called the presidential race for Donald Trump. In case you don't know what a sundown town is, it's a town, particularly back during Jim Crow and even before, where they're basically saying, black folks, you better be off the streets and out of our town before the sun sets or something could happen to you. And that's what it felt like. So we had this candidate, Kamala Harris, who was intelligent, proved a superiority to Trump in debate, in a debate, since he wouldn't come to any others, had plans and policies to advance the middle class, had plans to assist working class people, was going to crack down on price gouging, all those things. And it meant nothing. Okay? It meant nothing. But when I saw the, the selection of Donald Trump as president to be effectively the mayor of this 330 million population sundown town, I was like, this person has exhibited nothing but hate, nothing but a uh, pension for vengeance, autocratic tendencies. Even people that work for him during his first presidency said he wants to be a dictator. He wants to be an autocrat. Vulgarity, simulating sex acts on stage. And this is who was selected. But the irony of it is some of the people, many of the people that voted to put him in office, they aren't welcome in this new sundown town of America, of the United States. 50 plus percent of white women voted to make Donald Trump president. They don't want them in this sundown town. They took their bodily autonomy rights for health care. They've got a new slogan for women. Your body, my choice. How dismissive is that? And yet, over 50% of white women voted to make Donald Trump mayor of their sundown town that they aren't welcome in. Latinos, what the heck went on? large block of Latinos voted for Donald Trump. They're not welcome in the sundown town. Matter of fact, he told them, you aren't welcome here. I'm going to deport you if you don't have your documents. And even if you are a naturalized citizen, you took the oath, took the test, raised your hand, and you're a naturalized citizen, we may denaturalize you and send you out of the country. It was absolutely stunning. But, black people, we recognize the signs of a sundown town. We recognize when someone is talking like a KKK member or like Adolf Hitler we sense that danger. A few of us voted for Trump, not in the numbers they were talking about or were rumored, but the majority voted for Kamala Harris. Yet, we're swept up in this. We are trapped in the sundown town of the United States of America run by Donald J. Trump. So he's going to appoint people. He's going to find his 
Bull Carter. You can look him up. He's going to find his George Wallace. Matter of fact, he already had some of those. I consider Greg Abbott in Texas just a little more polished George Wallace. So he's going to populate his administration with all these enforcers. So you guys got your wish. You've trapped us all in the sundown town of the United States of America run by Donald J. Trump. It's a terrifying place because I actually stopped in a sundown town once. I had no choice. My fuel light came on and it was miles either direction to the next city. And there was a crossroads with a service station. So I turned around and I went to the sundown town that's located between Houston and the Louisiana border. Some of you can figure that out. And I was not at ease until I pulled off and headed out of that town before the sun set.